I am Ang Kai Rei and I am from Singapore. I am in the Coast Base Rescue First Steps U12 category. This is my second time participating in this competition and my first time using C to code my robot. In this challenge, I had to program my robot to collect as many objects as possible and then deposit them in certain deposit zones while avoiding traps. Bonus points are given when a set of red, cyan and black objects are deposited in the deposit zone. My strategy is to move my robot to target zones on the map when collecting or depositing so as to save time and to get my robot to collect certain combinations of colors so as to maximize my score. This strategy has enabled me to gain several hundred points more than the 1120 score attained when my robot moved randomly across the map and collected all objects in its path. To increase my score in this challenge, my robot has to be able to do the following. 1. Find the deposit zone quickly. 2. Collect as many combinations of red, black and cyan objects so as to increase bonus points. 3. Find objects of the desired colors quickly. I use the map's XY coordinates to locate the deposit zone and my robot and then use the robot's gyro sensors to direct my robot to the deposit zone. To increase the chance of getting bonus points from depositing a set of red, black and cyan, I programmed my robot to move to the deposit zone only when it has collected six objects. I use the following algorithm in my search strategy. If the deposit zone's X coordinate is bigger than my robot's X coordinate, my robot moves east. If the deposit zone X coordinate is smaller than my robot's X coordinate, my robot moves west. If the deposit zone's Y coordinate is bigger than my robot's Y coordinate, I program my robot to move north. If the deposit zone's Y coordinate is smaller than my robot's Y coordinate, I program my robot to move south. I program my robot to collect two red objects, two black objects, and two cyan objects so as to increase bonus points from depositing sets of red, black, and cyan objects. To do this, I create variables to count the number of red, black, and cyan objects. I program the robot to collect an object only when there are fewer than two objects of that color. I use the following algorithm in my collection strategy. If the number of red objects collected is smaller than two, collect red objects. If the number of red objects collected is two or more, do not collect red objects. This is repeated for cyan and black objects. Third, I program my robot to move to a section of the map with many objects of a certain color when my robot is looking to collect objects of that color. This reduces time wasted when the robot is moving in a section of the map containing zero objects of the desired color. To do this, I use the XY coordinates to, co to locate sections of the map where there are red, black or cyan objects and use the gyro sensor to direct my robot to desired sections on the map. I use the following algorithm in my collection strategy. If my robot has fewer than two red objects, I program my robot to move to the section of the map with red objects. This is repeated for cyan and black objects. Let's take a look at how my strategy works. Notice how my robot first moves to the sections of the map with many red objects. See how it does not collect more than two red objects.
Finally, watch how it moves to the section of the map containing the deposit area after it has collected two red, two black, and two cyan objects. I did the following to ensure my robot behaved as expected. One, I used the printf function to print important values in my code, such as the number of objects collected and the xy position of my robot. Two, I reviewed my code to check for errors. Three, I ran the game multiple times whenever I made code changes to ensure my robot behaved as expected. Previously, when I was using the graphical programming interface, my robot had achieved a score of 1120 when it moved randomly across the map and collected all objects in its path. With this strategy of moving to target collection and deposit zones and collecting RRCCBB combinations, my robot is now able to increase its score by several hundred points. To further improve my robot's AI, I would implement a timer so that my robot would not waste time searching for target colored objects that may be depleted in a zone. As C language is new to me, I got to learn a new programming language. I learned to use the robot's gyro sensor to direct my robot to certain zones on the map in order to save time. I also learned to develop algorithms such as collecting only sets of color to increase my score. And I have learned a lot from previous participants in the Code Space Rescue Challenge and hope others can also benefit from what I have shared in this video. Thank you for watching!